Hi everybody and welcome back to my studio. Um, this picture behind me uh, is a picture I've been working on for the last two weeks. Um, this is going to be a lesson on my MJS TV website. Um, there's a link for that in the description or you can find that via the pop-up banner here. That will go to my shop website and you can get to my MJS TV website via that link. Um, that's going to be available on there in the next couple of months. Um, but it's been a while since I've put anything out on YouTube, so I wanted to put something out for you, even though I haven't had so much of a chance what with this painting to actually get any decent footage for you. So I'm going to put on a lesson, or well, this is going to be part of a lesson that is currently on MJS TV. So it's going to be a little taster for you. Um, and we're going to go into uh, painting the thatch for the cottage and the actual building itself. But if you want to uh, know what brushes and what panels and things like that I'm using, or if you want to be able to buy those, then also go to my website, which is at the banner there or down in the description. So um, ah, one more thing I did want to add, Facebook. I'm going to be running regular competitions on Facebook. Um, it's my second Facebook page. I have two. Um, that link is also in the description. So if you want to be entered into competitions to win things, um, then go and like that page. Follow follow me on Facebook. And uh, right, well, let's, let's get into the lesson. Well, let's start working on that roof now. I think that's probably the next thing to do. Just get a general texture on that roof there. Just looking to really darken it and put some texture in. So as you can see, it's creating a, just giving us a textured look, putting on loads and loads of different little brush marks with every, every touch of the brush. And we're just gonna go over it sort of fairly evenly really with this. Now you don't want too much on the brush also, because if you put too much on, what you tend to get is a just one single blob of paint. We don't want that. We want lots of individual little brush marks with each brush stroke that we do. Okay, now what we're going to start doing is putting in some of the lighter areas and just the general sort of colours within that roof. We can probably use the same brush that we were using. And in this side, you've got some very light areas. I say, actually, they're not really light areas, but they're lighter areas. And now we can see, looking at the photograph, that we have lots of areas where you've got highlights. Like that. Areas of um, sort of textured lines. They're not perfectly smooth. We don't want to be using a rigger brush or anything that's going to give us a too perfect a line. We just need tiny little lines like this textured lines. So there's no thinner now, we are using the paint neat. More of a blue in the, in the shaded areas. Now, having a closer look at the wall, um, it's such an old cottage um, and it seems to me, I don't know whether there are lots of different types of stone within the wall 
or whether it's a new addition at some point there's been an extension and there's some newer stone but there really is an awful lot of details there's a lot of variation of color as well so one of the first things i've noticed is with the blocking it's considerably lighter than the actual photograph so we're going to darken that slightly um, by using a glaze and we're going to use some liquid, liquid original, and we're just going to add just some ivory black to the mix. So we've mixed that glaze and now I'm just going to use the Tree and Texture series brush very much as I would with foliage and I'm going to go over the entire wall here adding a little bit more to some of those darker areas for example behind some of the foliage. So using the rigger brush, this is the series one, um, I'm going to start putting in the mortar joints that we can see here. Now they're quite a bit lighter, but there doesn't really seem to be any obvious pattern that you'd get with a modern building. Um, they're sort of unusual shapes and some of these some of these blocks are or some of these bricks are a different size. So we just need to be aware of that when painting. Um, the Paint has been thinned down to more of an ink consistency and that's allowing us to get a nice thin tight line. But we're just going to get this whole area done like this now. we can now start to add some of the slight differences in colour of the blocks themselves. So let's do that now. I'm just going to clean this brush out. And really I suppose what I'm doing is I'm just flattening so it's a little bit less textured. <laughs> 